Well, hi everybody. This is Cam. Happy New Year. Thanks for clicking on this video. I wanted to get this out because it's exciting. We did really great on New Year's Eve doing some uh, food delivery for Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. Um, I just wanted to share the results and um, yeah, it was a really fun night. Kind of like the good old days. Back when there used to be tons of delivery offers. Um, now, it was pouring rain and pouring money. I was really unsure what to expect, to be honest. Things have been so slow lately. But it was pouring rain and it was New Year's Eve. A perfect storm? Yes, well, mostly. Uh, my husband drove and I did all the pickups and deliveries. So we got to spend the night together and it really feels so much safer when he's driving and I can just concentrate on the app and the pickups and the deliveries. I feel really sorry for people that had to drive in that horrible rain and try to do the app at the same time. That would be so dangerous. He had to put 100% concentration on the driving. It was really treacherous out there. Another bonus for the night was I didn't have to wait for food anywhere. It was ready everywhere we went. I only had to unassign one delivery, and it was only because it was a party city order with two bags of balloons, and we were not sure if we'd be able to fit it in the car, and it was raining so hard. To be honest, I didn't want to deal with the balloons popping and all that, so yeah, we just unassigned that one. Okay, so the weather. It was pouring, and I'm not being dramatic. Yes, I know I'm a Southern California girl. We're not used to rain and it sprinkles and everybody freaks out. But this was a huge rainstorm. The biggest we've had in a long time. After like the second order, I was soaked. I don't know why I didn't wear a raincoat. I have one. I don't know why I didn't wear rain boots. I have some. Um, I was just wearing some sweatpants, a zip up hoodie, and my regular tennis shoes. That was dumb. <laughs> Anyways, roads were flooding, deep puddles were forming everywhere. How do I know? Well, I stepped in many of them. I'd get out of the car, walk a short distance to the home's front door, and back to the car, and would look like I just took a shower. My phone was soaked, my hands were soaked, everything was soaked. Here's proof. Okay, so this I just pulled up from uh, KTLA.com. They had this little chart here. This is the seven day rainfall totals for Ventura County where I live, ending uh, this morning. But even though it was cons for the whole last week of rain, we had not had any significant rain in the past week other than last night. Um, yesterday, earlier in the day, it was misting off and on, but not like even a, you could even call it a rain. Last night, it was rain. So. The bulk of this 3.1 inches in Thousand Oaks, I am sure, fell out night while I was delivering. Um, I'm not kidding. It was constant rain the entire night. The windshield wipers were full blast. It was raining. Okay, well, enough of that. On to the earnings. It was so busy and so fun. Even though I was soaked, I really enjoyed the evening. It was like the good old COVID days, constant delivery offers, tons of good ones to choose from, decline one, another one pops up. It was, it was fantastic. DoorDash was mostly giving me pizza deliveries, which was fine. Uber, out, Uber Eats was outstanding. I got so many Uber Eats delivery options. Um, Grubhub was pretty crappy as usual. Lots of low offers with long distances. Those customers just were not taking into consideration the weather and the fact that it was New Year's Eve. It was the same low stuff that I've been getting from them. I did accept one, and it was only because the delivery was close to another person I was delivering to, and the pickup was also nearby. But the rest of the night with Grubhub was pretty much trash. Now, the deliveries I'm going to be showing you here are not in the order that I actually did them. Um, I'm just going to start with Grubhub, then show the DoorDash, and then show the Uber Eats. Uber Eats was raining some money for me, which was fantastic. Okay. Oh, please give this video a like. 
it lets me know that you like this kind of content and it also makes me really happy. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much. Okay, so here's the Grubhub. Um, it was 11.48, which was not fantastic, $4 tip. Like I said, the only reason I took it is because it matched up with one of the others that I took. Um, I think it was an Uber Eats that I took alongside this one. So anyways, I'm going to put the running total up here. I'm going to show you the details from each delivery. So we'll just go along through this. Okay, so here's DoorDash. Here's a Chipotle. Um, at one point in the night, they had a $2 peak pay. Peak pay in California is a waste because we have Proposition 22 and the peak pay just pretty much wipes out the Prop 22 pay. It doesn't really benefit us in any way, so it. I would just rather not have peak pay, to be honest. Um, anyways, this one only had a $3 tip, but it was fine. It was $10.75. I think this one was part of a double. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm not even going to worry about it. But here's my reading total so far. Okay. Now, then here's another DoorDash from Elong Dumplings. This was $20.25, which was fantastic. This was during a $1 peak pay. That tip was $12.50. That was, um, to be honest, I don't remember where any of these went. I was so busy and so just focused on trying to stay safe and not kill myself as I walked around and all these puddles and stuff that I'm, I don't really remember which customer was which restaurant but I didn't see any customers really well there was one but I'll explain that later but pretty much it was just drop off and go okay so here's a double that I realize is not the correct double because one of them this one has a peak pay and this doesn't so I think they were listed on my app incorrectly but regardless here's two Little Caesars pizzas I ended up doing four Little Caesars deliveries and the pizzas were ready every time I went in there, which is fantastic. Um, so tips are not outstanding. This one's okay, five fifty, but three dollars, whatever. Here's the running total. Here's another Little Caesars double. This one I think goes with that other one. This person. Oh, this was. A, I remember this one because um, the girl texted me, which was so nice. Um, as soon as I accepted it. The girl texted and gave me instructions about how to find her house, which was very nice. And she also said that, um, because it said hand it to me, and she goes, in the little text, she goes, you can just leave it by the porch. I don't want you to stand there waiting for me, um, which was very nice. So um, her husband ended up opening the door as I was delivering it anyways, but whatever. So anyways, that was a nice tip. Okay. Here's another double from DoorDash. This guy was pretty far away, and um, I wish I would have looked at the map closer because I probably wouldn't have taken this one. Even though it was good money, this took us kind of far out. But whatever, I took it, I did it, it was great, it was easy. This was another dollar peak pay for each of these. Other than the long distance, it was fine. Um, okay, now we're going to get into the Uber Eats so Uber Eats, I kind of cropped out all the other information. This basically shows you how long it took and how far I went. This was the original estimate, and this is what I ended up getting, which was the same, um, which was 12.59 was fine for 2.6 miles. Took, here is uh, $17.32. Was an extra <laughs> 27 cents. Wow. Um, it took about a half hour. That was 5.7 miles. I don't remember what restaurants these were. I'm sorry. Okay, so then this one was um, estimate 11.09. It came to 12.78, 1.8 miles. It took 14 minutes, so not bad. Notice our running totals going up here. Okay, this was the awesome one. So this was a double, and both customers ended up increasing their tip by quite a bit after the delivery, which was fantastic. It was estimated at 35.03. I knew it would take a while because the restaurants were not really that close to each other. And both of these restaurants are not the quickest necessarily. One was um, Love Sushi, which sometimes can get backed up. And the other one was Thousand Walk. I remember this one only because of my justification for taking it. Um, and it was eight miles, which is a little far. But like I said, it was $35 and 
the food at both of these places is not super cheap, so I thought maybe the tip would be more. But, you know, even at $35, I was willing to take it. Um, so the, the first delivery of the batch, she ended up adding 25 well, a total of not adding. The tip became $25. I don't know what it was originally. I don't remember. But I think part of the reason was... So it was um, delivering to a condo, townhouse, whatever they are. You drive up a hill, and then there's a driveway which goes to eight, eight garages or so. And then the next, you pass the driveway, then there's a sidewalk which goes to the front doors of those eight people or whatever. And then there's another driveway going to the garages, then another sidewalk going to the front doors, that sort of thing. So the sidewalk for our delivery location was not in the middle of the two driveways like the other ones. That sidewalk was only for the townhouses on the lower part of the hill. Um, so I'm thinking, uh oh, where's the front door for this person? So we drove down the driveway by where the garages were and there was a little sidewalk that went to the fronts, which was great. Okay. Now keep in mind, it is pouring rain. I can hardly see. I mean, it was raining that hard. It was not super dark. There were lights, but it was just hard to see. Um, so I'm carrying the food, walking around to the address. I only had to go past one door and then to hers. Um, as I turn the corner, I step in a huge puddle. The water goes all the way up to my ankles. Um, and I thought I said some things to myself, but I might have said them out loud. Because <laughs> um, she opened the door. Maybe she was tracking me on the app. I'm not really sure. But she opens her door. She goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's so flooded out there. And I said something back to her. Like, yeah, I was swimming as fast as I can to get you your food. Anyways, <laughs> I just told her Happy New Year. And she kind of, we both kind of giggled and then I left. So I think she felt sorry for me. Because at that point, I was soaking wet. Um, I had been soaking wet for a while, but I was solid. I was solid wet. So maybe she felt sorry for me, and that's why she gave me a bigger tip. Uh, maybe she had been drinking and just wanted to be generous. I don't really know, but regardless, it was very welcome. So then we went to the second delivery, which was only about a mile from the first one. Um, and that one required a pin from the customer. So I'm like, oh great, I've got to wait at his door. So I'm standing there as, you know, I knock on the door and his, uh, the little, um, I don't know what it's called, the part above the door, the entryway roof was just pouring water on me as I'm standing there. So I'm trying to keep his food from getting wet and he answers the door and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I need a pin number. And he's like, yeah, I don't know why I always have to do that. I'm like, I think it's random. I don't really know. Um, I didn't want him to feel bad about it. And, um, anyways, he was very friendly and gave him his food. His little boy inside was yelling happy new year to me. And I'm telling him happy new year. And I'm sure he saw how soaked I was and felt bad for me also. And that's why he raised his tip. Uber Eats paid me $19 to deliver the food to him. And then he gave like an $18 tip. So anyways, it was, that was just like such a great, delivery both of those <laughs> after the fact I didn't know at the time that they were going to add so much because uber eats they have up to an hour to add the tip so I didn't know until an hour later that they were adding all this money but it was great so anyways I had a really good attitude the whole night I was not freaked out about the rain I was just going with it so it wasn't like I was suffering even though I was soaking wet and I was cold but I was having fun. So anyways, apparently there was a promo on Uber Eats also going on. So I got an extra $6. So this one down here at the bottom, it was a three trip quest. So three out of three, I got $4. And then a one trip quest after that was for $2. So I ended up with six extra dollars. So now my running total here is two twenty six twenty one, which is pretty good. So here's a summary. 226.21 total. We were out for three hours and 45 minutes. Um, really, I could have stayed out longer, but we were hungry and I was really just soaked to the bone and it was starting to get windy and I didn't want to get a chill. 
I wish I would have went home at some point and put on some rain gear, but I don't know why I didn't. It was kind of dumb. I really didn't have time. I was busy delivering. Anyways, so if we figure this out, 226.21 divided by 3.75 equals $58.72 per hour, which is pretty great. I'll take that any day. So New Year's Eve for us was successful. I was soaking wet. My husband skillfully drove us around in the pouring rain, and it was a great night. And it was just really, um, it was really fun. It was fun to be so busy again. I went out again today on New Year's Day and did great again. So I think the holiday, the New Year's holiday was much better than the Christmas holiday. I didn't do so great on the Christmas holiday, but the New Year's holiday was pretty fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Hope to see you again next time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks so much. Hope that you have a wonderful upcoming year. I hope that 2023 is just fantastic for you. Wish you great health, happiness, and prosperity to you and your family.